Hello and welcome to Dyson Demons. I'm Emma and today I want to show you how I paint this salamander space marine. First off I start with a model that's been primed using the Raidbone spray and then I use my favorite green contrast paint, the Warp Lightning. And I just try to get a nice even coverage all around the model. I'm not too careful about painting inside the lines because most of the rest of the model that's not green is going to be covered with metallic paints that can easily cover the, uh, the, the uh, contrast paints. And this is the uh, great thing about having easy to build models that I didn't actually glue in place yet. You can just, uh, you know, take an arm off if you think that is more convenient. <laughs> actually, I do prefer painting in sub-assembly, so this was very helpful. Then when the entire model is green, I go back and go over it with the darker highlight I usually do. And this time I'm using Pterodon Turquoise. I could also have used a black color, but I thought that that would maybe be too much, like too stark of a contrast. So I go in with a relatively uh, thin brush, as you can see, but it's not like a tiny, tiny detailed brush. This is just an ordinary, relatively thin synthetic brush, and it can easily do these tiny cross hatches. It's, uh, as long as the brush has a nice sharp point, uh, you can use it for this purpose. I make sure to do most of the darker highlights or the shading in the lower parts of the panels and the armor plates just to sort of illustrate where you would have more shadowy areas if you were to do like true non-metallic metal or do like a gradient of a color scheme. If you wanted to be very true to realism you would probably you know take a, a light and, and study exactly where the light falls but on this type of model where it's sort of like a comic style painting I don't care too much. I just usually place the shadows in the lower parts of the model and the lighter highlights on the top. And next up I use the black Templar contrast paint on the bits of the model that I've decided is sort of like leather or something. I considered going for a brown, but I decided against it. I thought that the brown would uh, somehow look too close to the green almost. And I also used the black on the weapon, just giving an, a very quick coverage with the black contrast paint. I think black contrast paint is one of my favorite contrast paints. It just go on so nice and smoothly and does its job really well. Then I have decided that I want the uh, shoulder pads to have like a flaming um, design on them and I just quickly go over it as you can see with a pen just to make sure that I get the design more or less the way I, I want it to be. I think it's a bit easier to draw with a pen and then go over it with a brush than just do it uh, completely freehand with a brush without any uh, prior drawing or anything. I try to be relatively careful here because I want to use contrast paints on the flames as well and as contrast paints are very translucent I would have to go over it uh, with a wraith bone or something if I painted outside the lines. Next up I do the uh, trim on the panels with a gold. I use the Retributor gold from Citadel which I think is just a nice warm gold that I used for almost all my golden things on every single model I have. Um, and I just think it works really well and it has a nice smooth consistency, which I really like. Next up, I do the lighter edge highlights and I am using the Mood Green from Citadel for the first layer of this. And as you can see, I'm being relatively careful here because if I have to, uh, if, if I make any mistakes, I have to basically start from scratch. So doing the lighter edge highlights is uh, it's not something I'm nervous about, but it's something that requires a little bit of concentration. This highlight is relatively subtle, I think, but it is an excellent groundwork for the last bit of highlighting that I want to do. And I take some of the Tesseract Glow, the, uh, the special paints for the Necrons, and then I mix in some Fluor uh, pigments from Green Stuff World. And I just mix it together with just a tiny bit of Lamian Medium added to it. And you have to mix it uh, every time you want to use it, otherwise it'll just uh, dry up really fast and be like a very, very uh, hard substance that you can't paint with. So I just mix a tiny bit every time I want to use it. And then I just do the highlights. I use it like I would any other paint and it gives it this really nice bright highlight here where you can really see the uh, armor panel start to pop, I think. It's... Um, because of the pigments in it, even though I tried to uh, blend it really well, it is not as smooth as ordinary paints, but I can live with that just because I think it gives such a nice 
a such a nice bright effect that I really really like. Then I start working on the flaming symbols on the shoulder pads and I'm using the contrast paint uh, Yandon Yellow for the base color here and I try to be relatively smooth but it's not too bad because it, it won't cover the black paint anyway. And then I use the Blood Angels Red and do a nice quick wet blend just to make the flames look a little bit uh, realistic. I don't want them to look too toony. Uh, I want them to stand out from uh, from the rest of the model. Then I use the um, uh, Talisar Blue to just uh, add a little bit of contrast inside the flames. So it looks almost black, but I think it has a nice um, quality to it that you can't quite put your finger on, but you can still tell that it's not completely black. It's not easy to see here on the uh, on the video though, but I like uh, I like to use the blue for this. I thought the flames sort of lacked a little bit of definition on top, so I decided to go back over them with the Blood Angels red, just to sort of make a red outline separating the yellow from the black. And I thought that ended up uh, looking pretty nice actually. I don't know, I don't think it would be realistic, but I mean, who cares? It's for fun on a shoulder plate. Then I go over the uh, uh, purity seal just with blood for the blood guard, just to make it look like it's nice and shiny, uh, like a proper purity seal should be. And once that's done, I go over all the metallic bits with storm host silver to make them look nice and shiny as well. And again, I just pick out a little bit of detail, not too much, and it's not something that I'm going to be spending hours doing so I'm just trying to put the highlights on the uh, parts that I think would most likely be hit by some sort of uh, light uh, like the sun or something and then I also do an edge highlight this time with lead belcher on the weapon and um, I could also do it in gray or something but I actually prefer highlighting a weapon like this painted in black with a silver color just because I think it makes it uh, it makes it look like it's a uh, there is some sort of uh, metal underneath the black paint, which I think is suitable for a gun. And here you can see the finished results. And I must say this was a fun project. I've never uh, painted a salamander, space marine or anything before. I just uh, kind of felt like it yesterday. So I, I gave it a go and this was a fun project. I particularly like the contrast between the bright green and then the flames on the shoulder pads. Uh, the flaming design was fun and very easy to make. So I think that is, uh, that's actually something I will take with me from this project that perhaps I should be a little bit bolder whenever I'm painting a space marine and do some sort of fun freehand design on their shoulder pads. I do think it helps the model stand out quite a bit. So uh, this was uh, what I wanted to show you today. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you have any models or anything you would like me to see, you are more than welcome to join me on the Dyson Demon Showroom on Facebook. Uh, I'll leave a link to that in the show notes. And you can also follow me on Twitter and Instagram, also under the name Dyson Demons. So thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.